What's up, you heads? We're out here on the run. We're out here in Austin. And we did it. We found the meetup spot. We found the group rides. Austin e-bike group on Facebook is having a ride today and we're gonna go to it and we're gonna make friends and we're gonna look at e-bikes at night when I run out of battery and I need to use my phones for hotspots and stuff I charge my little teeny iPhone with my Suron I did that two times and it got me down to 90% and you can go about, I don't know, s who knows, six miles. Six miles with like 10% of Suron battery. So does that, my, does that mean my iPhone has like three miles of Suron range in it? Oh, sick, sick, sick. Suron. Yeah. Am I allowed here? <laughs> okay, good. Absolutely. How's it going, man? I'm Dylan. Dylan, Dave. Yeah. Nice good to meet you. you. Uh, yeah, you see, uh, you see this one over here, the white? Oh, yeah. That looks, looks fast. That's uh, Jim Chang. He rides that thing down here from Round Rock on the access road. Really? He rides with us and then rides it back home. <laughs> It'll do about 60 miles an hour, he said. Damn. Uh, it's kind of a home-built or kaluge of something he put together. Yeah, so you're totally welcome. Um, yeah, like these e EUCs, one wheelers, they'll do 50, 60 miles. Oh, I've seen them. I've seen them cruise. And practically nothing here is stock or legal. Everybody's modified to get out of Yeah. I figured you'd come Hey, how's it going? What's up, brother? I invited you. Oh, yeah. You're the, on, uh, on old Instagram. Yeah, I've been telling her. I was like, this is the next bike I'm getting. And I was like, I hope he rides it so I can just check it out. Oh, the Suron? Yeah. What, what bike is yours? 73. Oh, nice. I was telling them I'm about to get it faster. I'm about to get a, to it. Uh, 72 volt. I'm going to do a 60 when I get it. It's 72. I don't know if I can really all it. You know, that, that's what I heard too because a lot of my friends, they, they go, they're like less than 9 ki kilowatts. Really? Like over 9 kilowatts, it's kind of hard to do wheelies. Yeah. And unless you have the bigger tire in the back, which I will get eventually, but I don't know. 72 volts heavy. Exactly, that's my thing. I was like, 70, 60 should be enough. We're glad you made it, brother. Yeah, thanks for telling me about it, dude. I was like searching far and wide. Very big, but yeah, I mean, I know when you got that itch to get out and ride with people, it's like, yeah. The group's at. <laughs> yeah. So riding in Pedal Assist. Well, we gotta talk to that guy. I swear, that's the first thing I would change. What's that? Oh, and I rode motocross so long. This is front brake to me. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I changed my Super 73. My, my grandson's a uh, mountain biker. The first thing I did was swap him back and forth. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked me, why did you do that? I said, because he's going to ride a motorcycle someday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that is. You know? But maybe all the motorcycles of the future will just all be hand controls. <laughs> you never know. Maybe we'll just have retinal scanners and when you get that, oh shit, look at that. <laughs> maybe it'll all be in the metaverse and maybe we'll just have virtual motorcycles. <laughs> Yep, yep. Is that built from the ground up or is that something? No, it was a scooter. Yeah, and so you just added another swing arm? I mounted another swing arm and put a whole second set of electronics in it. What are these little things right here? Thumbs up, thumbs up. Oh, lights? Lights, yeah. Or no, these things. Oh, that's actually like a dog beater. Oh, that's your, that's your self-defense. <laughs> yeah, I had some dogs come after me, so I'm like, I'm bringing a stick with me next time. All right, now remember, anyone gets lost, we're gonna, I'm going to stop if we get strung out. If Hopefully we, we never need light, to use that. I'm going to stop at all Again. red lights. If we all don't make it through it, stop, and we'll catch up before I make another turn. Watch out in the, uh, we're going to ride some of the two-way bike lanes. Be careful in those about being in the left lane. I've seen three head-on accidents this year in those things, so be careful. Thank you. Let's go. Oh my god, it's a bus car again. Bus car. 
Who are you? Decent sized crew. There's probably no one here that can wheelie, so we're gonna probably have to get that out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely wheelie, man. <laughs> that thing is sweet, man. Thanks. Um, those are fucking beasts as well. Right. Do you ride it like a BMX bike? I've never seen one with pegs on it. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a, a BMX rider background or whatever. Uh -huh. I don't have the skills and such. Certainly some people do more so. I got the pegs primarily because I wanted the like passenger capability. Yeah, you could have two passengers. <laughs> you could have a front passenger. You could go full on India style for sure. <laughs> I've seen some pictures. Dude, I, have, uh, I, I took my neighbors one of the, like across the apartment parking lot. Yeah. He was a big guy, I don't know. Maybe probably over 200 pounds. Yeah. And it was no problem. Well, except for me handling the balance without much weight on it. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I haven't had the guts to like, really like go to like a, a skate park and uh, yeah. really cut loose in that regard. Um, I've done a little, you know, I use them to like. I have done the tentative starts of standing on the back pegs and using that to do a wheelie. Yeah. Because I've seen a video of someone doing a flat ground wheelie on this on the 1100 as well. The 750 like definitely, but the 1100 is known for not having quite as much torque. Oh really? I would think the it would have more torque. This is a brushed gear motor. Oh okay. Or a gear hub motor, and this is a brushless hub. Motor. Oh okay. I think that's why the very low. This has higher top speed. About a hub motor is difficult to wheelie. Nah. Did you call us a bunch of idiots? I think they're yelling at each other. Oh. <laughs> oh no, he might be a crazy guy. Maybe it's, you know, is it Bluetooth or is it crazy? You never know. <laughs> that helmet's pretty sick. Is it safe? No, it's a scooter helmet. Oh, it's, it's just... It's a dot helmet like that. Uh-huh. This isn't plate. DOT. This, this, this isn't... This, snap this, isn't, this, isn't, this is yeah. a skateboard helmet. Yeah. It's not a... It's, it's a dot approved, but yeah, it's good for a, probably a scooter craft. Yeah. yeah. I would not wear it on a mirror. Covert. Not really. Not with those license plates. I can't believe that's an e-bike. That looks cooler than the Baby Maker. It looks more low-key than the Baby Maker. Yeah, it looks like it has front suspension, but no, huh? Yeah, the, the front does. Oh, it is? It's this back that's killing me. Mm. <laughs> that one, that one poses. Yeah. A dupe or Lindsay. Hey, how's it how's going? going? Nice to meet you. Oh, it's all you talk to Tyrone, so we're watching your videos for a while now. Oh, really? Thank you, man. Then I hit the ground. You need to come ride with the 512 wheelie crew on Wednesday night sometime. It's more like the ride that you do in California with all those guys. Uh huh. Where they just take over the streets. That's yeah. How those guys are. This is pretty mellow for your kind of. But it's e-bikes? No. Oh, okay. Regular bikes, oh, but there'll shit, be e-bikes e mixed in with them too. What's it called? The 512 Wheelie Crew. 512. At the very on Facebook. Same place that we started at. Uh -huh. at Seven o'clock on Wednesdays. Every Wednesday. Oh, I'll have to check that out, man. Thanks for. 
40 to 50 guys doing wheelies, jumping over shit. <laughs> they just take over the whole intersection. Okay. It's, it's a different kind of ride, you know. This yeah. Is a older crew, so I'd kind of be mellow. It's too uh, I like it all. I like mellow. I like crazy. I like. I just like e-bikes. Yeah, I thought this one we're gonna go. We'll go through some woods and stuff, and go show you some stuff you probably haven't seen yet. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen all the anytime fitnesses. I saw the videos you did, you were more over that side. So. Yeah. Where's the rest of your bike? I left it at home. <laughs> yeah. You forgot something. I how, know. I don't know how I steer it. How fast does that go? Forty. Okay. So is that like an actual production dirt bike version, or what is this? Uh, no, this is the Saron X. It's like two years old. I've always heard people talk about the Saron. Yeah. How fast does that one go? Uh, almost 50. 40, 48, it looks like my max speed is. So cool. I mean, but people make them go like 90. I've heard Mount about up. that. I've heard of, like, because I've... Like I heard from some of the other EUC people, that like the, they're like, oh yeah, e-bikes are usually slower, except for Saran. Yeah. <laughs> then it gets into like insane territory. That thing is so, that's by far the craziest thing here. That looks like a bike the Predator would ride. <laughs> that's what I was going <laughs> That thing is stealthy. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> Quiet as hell, man. I'm assuming the batteries are in here. It is in there, yeah. Big old tube battery. Not bad, man. You heard of the Baby Maker? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That, I, 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 I that thought that was the only bike that did that, but this looks like cooler than the Baby Maker. Super low key, right? Oh yeah. Hey. Hey, you gotta hit these. You gotta hit this. <laughs> uh, I wanna see some air. 360. <laughs> oh, it beeped at you. You see that guy Shibby? Shibby time? Oh. On Instagram, he he goes huge on those things. Oh, I think I've seen In the woods, he's got that viral clip where he's just in the woods, just huge air. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, that guy's that guy's crazy. Nuts. It's only a matter of time before we see a backflip. Oh my god. I mean there's well there then again there's so much weight with like a snowmobile and somebody's done a backflip on those. Oh yeah. Do those go just as fast in reverse? Yes. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Pretty sick route, I gotta say. I would have never found any of this. I know we're on a group ride right now and we should be focusing on group ride content, but all I can think about is how much solar power my bus is getting right now and how long I'll be able to play Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto later.
starts to hurt your back after a while, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, no yeah. suspension. Yeah, that's what the fat tire ones are yeah. for. It's like that's where most of the yeah. suspension yeah, is. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Oh my god. How did those get there? Alright, nice little break. Really expensive bacon cheeseburger. I just asked for a bacon cheeseburger. I didn't look at any prices. Big mistake. But I got to chill with Todd. Very interesting guy with a Predator helmet. Okay. Okay, this is very Long Beach LA Eastgate esque. Weird. Crooked and weird. Time or when the sun's setting, the sun sets right over there. It's really nice. That's the new Bass Concert Hall. There's all kinds of big stars coming up for that. They also do basketball games in that. They're going to tear this one down. That used to be the old basketball stadium. That one right there, that's 865 feet tall. The next one going down over here is going to be 1,022 feet tall and be the tallest building in Texas. Wow. So this Texas one. always, they, they could go sideways. So it wasn't like the other other places where they had to go up so early. Yeah. Now we're all having to go up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Until Elon starts making tunnels around. Yeah, I let's go here, down. <laughs> when I got here, everything was like two and three stories tall. I got here in 78. Yep. Oh, God, And I yeah. came here the first time in 1970. And it's like, you can see all across the whole city. Hey, I, I got to see you do a burnout on that thing again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy looking. Is that a good honk or a bad honk? Oh, I was here. I was here one night. I saw a raccoon and I took a detour and then I went up those stairs unnecessarily. Hello. Take a photo. Take a photo. You got a $3,000 camera.
This is pretty sick. So is there no spring for the front wheel? So or that takes care of all the suspension. The shocks are back here for this one. Oh, okay. And then I put these shocks on for this one. So it's independent rear suspension. Wow. So oh yeah, and you do have barely any clearance right there. Yeah, you can kind of see it here. See how it works. Damn, that is some ingenuity. What's the fender from? Uh, KX100. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like those types. Yeah. I got props from somebody up there. Whoa, a canoe statue. A canoe structure of art. Wow, that probably was not even that expensive to build. Seat bounce. I'm doing a heck of a seat bounce off the <laughs> I say you add one more wheel. <laughs> Ooh, Honda Navi. I gotta get one of these just to get one of these. Wow, that's smaller. No, that's a Navi. Is that a Navi? What is a Navi? Yeah, those are kind of... I'm starting to see those more and more now. Month, maybe. Hopefully, it won't be too cold. Thank you. Here's the lead. Hold on. 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 Hold on bicycle wheelie ride every Wednesday that is probably gonna be our next vlog can't no promises we'll see we're gonna head home and play some video games all day because we've earned it thank you guys for cool bike thank you guys for watching thank you for supporting the channel guys thanks for clicking the like button the notification bell and of course subscribing if you are new to Loophole Culture Underground and this is your second or third video, consider a subscribe. And a huge, huge shout out to all my lovely patrons. You guys 
are amazing. I don't know where I'd be without you. Probably would have quit a long time ago. And uh, follow Austin E-Bike Group on Facebook if you want to ride along once a month. And guys, get after it. Good enough isn't. Peace. <laughs>